Okay. And let me change the lighting. This is way too bright. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janae Rose and I haven't been on here in a while. It's so much that's been going on. But um today is Wednesday and I'm recording the video for oh and if y'all see me looking down I'm looking at notes so but today's video is going to be about regrets i'm going to start doing this thing to where it's like word of advice wednesdays i'm gonna start putting polls out on my instagram story so y'all can give me topics to choose from to talk about on my word of advice wednesdays that's just going to be for the wednesdays though i'll figure out something else to do for the rest of the week but today's topic is regrets i just wanted to talk about that because i feel like that's something that i deal with regretting stuff that happened in the past and if you live in the past and you regret stuff that happens in the past then you can never move on and be happy with your life you can never move to the next step and what god has for you next you know what i'm saying if you're stuck on what happened because you can't go back and redo it you can't change what happened and if it didn't happen then you wouldn't be in the spot that you are in today so it happened for a reason you know, oftentimes people and myself, we tend to get stuck on the past and what we did and it allows us not to move on to the next thing. I just feel like if you're stuck in the same thing and you want big things, you have big dreams, you you know, you want this, you want that. Everybody wants to grow and, su and succeed in everything they do. They want to have money. They want to be rich. They want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? If you cannot move on from the things you did that held you back when you were at your lowest and you're still thinking about them while you're trying to get better, you're not going to get better. There's no way you're going to get better because you were at your lowest when it happened to you. So it's going to bring you back to your lowest. So that is one of the biggest things that will hold you back. And oftentimes, I don't really do this anymore, but a lot of people tend to blame stuff on other people. And this situation happened because of this person. But in all reality, most of the times it's us that allows the situation to come. It happens because of us. Or it's just because it's supposed to happen. If it never happened, like I said, you wouldn't be where you are today. You wouldn't be the person that you are today. If you were perfect, you wouldn't know what not to do. You know what I'm saying? That's where experience comes in. It's nothing bad. Even though the things that you might be regretting, it's like something that you just wish you never did it still doesn't change anything what matters is right now what you're gonna do about it right now you can't go back and change it so what are you gonna do not do it again you know just okay it happened push that to the side and live on that's all you can do you know what i'm saying that's what i deal with and so i felt like you know i deal with it's probably a number of people that deal with it. i did a lot of things that it was against my morals it was against me like it was against janae like i don't janae don't do that kind of stuff and so when i found myself doing it i was like oh i'm out of line like that's just against who i am and for what i stand for it's just something i never thought or saw myself doing in all my years of living so but it's okay to mess up it's okay you're not perfect you're gonna mess up but what you do after is that's what leads up to your success not what you did in the past sometimes past things can have long lasting effects on what might happen in the future but, but that still doesn't mean that it can't be turned around that still doesn't mean that you can't f fix things because god can fix anything you know what i'm saying and what you manifest what you say what you think about all day if you thinking about the things that you're regretting that you used to do or you did nine times out of ten you're thinking about it you're manifesting it to happen again to you maybe in a worse situation or in the same situation i don't know but you're just drawing the same energy to come right back to you and it's not healthy for you it's not healthy for your mind it's not healthy for your living it's not healthy for your happiness and peace so if you want to have peace learn to let go of the old stuff that you did because it's not worth living reliving it that's what i'm gonna say it's not worth reliving it because when you think about it and it's already happened even if it's the day after it's still in the past so if you think about it and it's 
the day after you are reliving it because you're still in the moment. That's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for anybody. Living in regret is just all together. It's not good. It can lead to depression and health problems and all kind of stuff. Hair falling out. You're not looking well. You know, surround yourself with good energy. You did this in the past. Okay, surround yourself with things that you know that you do. That's that's you if you are in the if you are in that mindset like what i would do like if i'm thinking about something that i regret that i did and you know i'm just so depressed about it or i'm just stuck in it i would i'd start writing or just take my mind off of it just start planning i don't know surround yourself with good things give yourself good things to say every day give yourself goals to say if you're trying to get better if you're writing stuff down to do the next day to do better than you did the day before then thinking about that regret thinking what was i trying to say if you're writing down things to get better right and and to get better and do better than you did the day before and you're thinking about that you're not a step ahead you're still in the past and it's just not healthy it messes with your health it messes with your life it messes with your decisions in life you know then you start making decisions out of emotions and out of what you went through in the past like for example if you got hurt in the past by a man and like it, it didn't end well most of the times the story for us women is that every man after the one that hurts you is the devil and that's not the case that's making decisions out of what you went through before you know a lot of them might be similar just like women a lot of them might be similar but there's all everybody's their own person you can't put them all in one category and say they're all just snakes a lot of them are, i'm not even gonna lie to you but not all of them just like a lot of us women are but not all of us okay even this like if you messed up before, you're not gonna do it again. Like people, can, they can mess up. Don't let somebody's one mess up define who they are. Because people mess up, we do it all the time. That's what that's what we do. I can't name one person that I know that hasn't messed up before. I don't care if it's big or small. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. So just because one person messed up, that doesn't define who they are. It depends on what their track record is. What do they keep doing? Just staying in the past is not good and making decisions out of anger and the past is not good either. Just live and be happy for your present situation. Live off of and make decisions off of your present situation because you can't operate when you're depressed. You make bad decisions when you're depressed. You make bad decisions when you're down and you're thinking about something that happened that you can't change. Why think about something that you can't change? It's it's almost like thinking about something that you just can something big that you just know you can never have it's an ongoing cycle of thinking about it and you're never going to get it I'm not saying i'm saying something like crazy big like you know that you're not gonna get it not like being rich anybody can be rich or getting a house anybody could get their dream house or dream car or be a singer or a choreographer or anything like that but i'm talking about something big like being a god some some crazy i don't know you know just like that thinking about something that you know you can never get that is not it's just not possible that's what living in regret is is thinking about something that you did that you just cannot in no way shape or form go back and change it so you're really just wasting your time and your life because time is not waiting on anybody y'all I tell myself this all the time. Time is not waiting on me. Time is really just ticking. It's really just slipping through everybody's fingers. So not to say rush and do, but you you never know. So just live your life. Be happy. You know, do what makes you happy. I can't stress it enough. Like I think of I think of ways to just make me happy and my family. And all the things I think about. It's just to get my family just to where they smiling every day. It starts within yourself because even if you even if you are rich and you have all the money in the world, some of the most richest people are not happy. So it starts it does start within yourself. It doesn't mean you can't have nice things. It just it does start within yourself. So just think 
positive. Find the positive. There's a positive and negative in everything. No matter the outcome, there's a positive in everything. Give me a scenario right now, and I can tell you there's a positive and a negative to everything. Now, what you do with it, how you think about the situation, how you take it out, that's on you. That's what type of person you are. You think of everything negative when you could clearly see the positive in it. That's just what kind of person you are and you got to work on it if you're trying to be happy. Now, if you want to stay negative and unhappy, then be my guest. But me, y'all, I'm not I'm not a negative person. I'm not an unhappy person either. You know, when there's no one to talk to, I talk to myself. <laughs> it might seem a little crazy, but I talk to myself and I talk to God like and I'm like, it's going to be all right. Me, myself and God is the only two people I have to talk to all the time. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't want to hear what you got to say or they just don't have the time. Or you're not around people. Also, okay, you might not be around people that have the same mindset as you. That's another thing. Surround yourself with the same people that want the same things as you. If they don't have the same mindset, baby, you're not getting nowhere with them. Find something that works for you. Everybody can find somebody to rock with. Okay, if somebody's thinking about they don't care about being rich. There's a lot of people that's not that don't care about being rich and they're content with what they're doing right now. They don't care about being rich. There's a lot of people that are trying to get to the bag and they wanna be rich. Hang around what you wanna be like. It's simple. There's a lot of people that like to be happy and don't like drama. They like peace. They wanna be rich. They want to be happy. Go around the people that you know that are just genuinely happy all the time and they don't want nothing from you. They don't expect anything from you. They're just genuinely a good, happy person. Go around those kind of people and see what the results are. At the end, I try to talk myself to thinking positive and changing things that I did the day before. Be a better person. And it's possible if you want to, you can do anything you put your mind to. I gotta tell myself that all the time because sometimes I'll be like, oh child, I can't do that. But in all reality, yes you can, Janae. Yes you can, girl. Yes you can do yeah, just got to put your mind to it. Your mind is very strong. Your mind is so strong that if you think something too much, that's what's going to come up on you. Have you ever thought about like, okay, there's a bug. And me, okay, I'm using this as an example because I'm scared of bugs, y'all. I'm so scared of bugs. I don't care what kind of bug it is. I'm gone. If it come by me, I'm gone. But have you ever, like, if you're scared of bugs like me, looked at a bug and be like, oh, he better not come over here. Like, he better stay over there. And they come, what they do, they come over there to you anyway and fly right in your face or stick on you up. And then all you do is freak out and run, hop out your clothes. That's what it do. Your mind is powerful. That's energy. That's just energy feeding off of energy. That's how that works. So how you want stuff to come to you is how you need to do things. Your whole life needs to be about how you operate. That's how you operate. Positivity, then that's what you, that's what you're going to get. I don't care what nobody say. That's what you're going to get. And um, yeah, I'm kind of out of things to say. I think I ran down the list on everything. I think I'm done. But I just want y'all to know that don't regret anything you do. Everything happens for a reason. You can feel bad about it, but let it go. Because there's no point holding on to something that you can't change. But yeah, so with that being said, y'all, that's the end of this video. If y'all like this video, hit the bell. Make sure you turn on the post notification that you can get notified every time I make a video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Yes, I'm going to be posting a poll on my story, on my Instagram story. And that's where y'all can go and tell me what more y'all want to hear on Creative Advice Wednesdays. But just let me know because I want to know what y'all want to know. We could just hit up the topics. Y'all comment down below what y'all thought of this video. What was your favorite? part any advice you have for this video that i didn't touch on make sure you write it down below and just let me know i want to engage with you guys um it's late i'm about to go to bed and until next time peace